All right, so welcome. This is a quick introduction to our EDU Onyx socket programming with C course. So before we get started with the actual lessons, we're going to talk really quickly about what we're going to be covering and uh, what you're going to need to know before you start this course. So in this course, we're going to cover socket programming with C. And as it relates to networking, basically the basics of setting up network connections using the TCP protocol with C sockets, how we can make connections between our applications, send data back and forth, and how we can implement some higher level protocols that we see in the web, and sort of the applications thereof, what you're going to want to use those things for in practice. You'll be able to implement HTTP sockets. Uh, HTTP protocol over sockets by the time we finish this course and you'll understand the basics of how that protocol works and how you can implement it and interact with any application on the web that implements this particular protocol. So that's just a little bit of what we're going to go over. So let's take a look at what we're going to need to know before we start this course. So before diving into C socket programming here, uh, this course assumes you have some basic understanding of the C programming language. So basically things like headers, functions, the f certain APIs, the basic APIs of the C standard library. Uh, this course is going to assume you have some basic understanding of how to program with C. Um, but as far as the socket APIs, that's what we're going to cover and we'll explain in detail how to use all of those things. Uh, the C understanding just needs to be things like uh, functions, command line arguments, uh, how to process basic data types in C. We're not going to go into detail on too many of those things. Uh, things like pointers as well. Um, but for the most part, all the new socket APIs we're going to be covering, we're going to explain in detail. And uh, in this course, we're going to use a Linux system. So any commands that you see in the videos, we're going to, there's not going to be too many commands. We're going to stick to mainly using Vim for text editing, and um, we're going to use uh, CC. Uh, we're going to use Make essentially to make sure we have the files compiled appropriately and then run them on our system. And actually, we're going to take a quick look into the environment that we're going to be setting up for these videos specifically. You don't have to use this 100%. Um, whatever you can get your C code compiled with should work. But uh, the setup that we have is really simple, so we'll talk about that really quick. So the videos that you're going to see in this course uh, have all been done on a computer with uh, the Debian 7 operating system installed. And uh, that makes things fairly simple to set up. There's all the programs that we use then will come pre-installed with your operating system. And uh, you can go ahead and write, you know, run the exact same commands that we run and uh, everything should work exactly the same. It's a pretty simple operating system setup if you're using Linux in general. Uh, you don't have to use a specific distribution, but I would recommend Linux for socket programming in C in general. It's going to be a lot easier. You can run these same steps on a Windows environment with Sigwin, which we can talk about a little bit, but uh, all of the instructions that you're going to see in this video are going to be done on Linux. And we're going to use the Vim program like we talked about for doing file uh, actually editing of the source code. So nothing fancy in terms of text editors. Uh, everything should be installed on your basic Linux machine. Um, so this environment should be really simple to set up. And that's basically all you'll need to know before we get started. Once you have an environment set up that allows you to run at least a basic C compiler like GCC, and something to edit the text files in, that's all you really need, and uh, your code should be good to go. So we can go on, go on and get started with the actual lectures.